uh, living vicariously. I want to thank Mr. Richard White. He will start the program, but I want to make a few announcements in regards to the library. Please come on in and get you a library card because our funding deals a lot with circulation. So we need you to get a library card and use it. Um, tomorrow, March the 10th, will be a Black Women's March starting at the corner of Euclid and Logan. Please come out and support. You don't have to be a woman. You can be supportive of women. Um, we have some cannabis books here today. We'll have them at every session. You can check them out with your library card, and we want you to do, do that. And they're LA available to check out. Um, and without further ado, I want to invite up our lecture series facilitator, Mr. Reginald L. White.
However, there's some changes coming about, which I'll announce in a little bit. We, we anticipate that federal prosecutors in California going after people who use or possess marijuana in accordance with California and local regulations. So even though there are still in place California regulations, the federal government is not restricted from going after them. Some of it has to do with the money that they have available to do that. And in most cases, that money does not exist. So federally, even though it's against the law, the federal government doesn't have the funds to come out and chase after people. They're more or less interested in people who are doing big crime, you know, moving drugs, moving, moving cannabis from one state to another, or growing it illegally in the forest, or things of this nature. So to help you understand the nuances of the laws in California, the criminal defense lawyers put this out, which is what I'm reading from. Simple possession. Health and Safety Code 11357 is the California marijuana law that sets forth the rules for personal possession of marijuana. Possession of not more than 28.5 grams, which is one ounce. It's a bit more than an ounce for personal use. It's legal in California on January 1st, 2018. For people age 21 and older. So is possession of up to eight grams of concentrated cannabis hash. That means you can have in possession of up to 8 grams of, of hash as well as 28.5 grams of marijuana. Note that there are restrictions on where cannabis, marijuana can be consumed. You can't, although it's legal in California by the state, where you can smoke it or use it is restricted. So you can't just be outside doing this. Um, so when is possession of marijuana why, when is possession of marijuana still a crime? The following are crimes, either California misdemeanors or California infractions. If you possess, if you possess marijuana and you are under 21 years of age, that is in fact a violation. Possession of more than 28.5 grams is a violation, or more than four grams of concentrated cannabis is a violation. Possession of marijuana or concentrated cannabis on the grounds of any K-12 school while school is in possession is a violation. So you can't bring it to school, you can't bring it around children, that sort of thing. Punishment for illegal possession of marijuana is set forth out in the chart below. And this is what I'm going to read to you as to what can happen federally if you, are, if you violate these, these laws. Possession of marijuana or concentrated cannabis by people under 21 is an infraction. Now that doesn't mean that just because you have it, you are you're violated. It's only if you get caught with it. Drug counseling and community service for people under 20, under 18 and a fine of up to $100 for defendants 18 and over. If you have 28.5 grams of marijuana or more than 8 grams of concentrated cannabis, it is a misdemeanor. You can get up to six months in the county jail and up to $500 fine. Wow. Keep this in mind. Possession of more than 28.5 grams of marijuana or more than four grams of concentrated cannabis, which is hash, is an infraction and you can get drug counseling and community service. Possession of marijuana or concentrated cannabis on the grounds of a K-12 school. Defendants 18 and over is a misdemeanor and up to $250 fine for a first offense. Important to remember. Possession of marijuana, concentrated cannabis on the grounds of a K-12 school is an infraction for drug counseling and community service if you are under 18 years of age. So they're making a difference of whether you are over 18 or under 18. Now, obviously this is a, a, a lot of specifics and details. So no one here I'm sure is going to remember all this and they'll learn the test when this is over. <laughs> but, so I'm just going to go over some of the things that are going to be pertinent to you. Since I'm a cultivation consultant, let me talk about cultivation that is growing marijuana. Here is a safety code. California Health and Safety Code 11358 covers marijuana cultivation. It's amended by Proposition 64, allows most people who are 21 years and over to cultivate up to six marijuana plants. Marijuana must be grown indoors, unless outdoor growth is permitted under your local regulations, which it is here. 
But if such is the case, um, as in, 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 in unincorporated areas mostly, regardless of whether it's grown indoors or out, the marijuana plants must be in a secure location and not acceptable, not accessible to minors. People under 21 who grow any amount of marijuana are guilty of an infraction. People under 21 who grow any amount of marijuana is guilty of an infraction. If under 18 years of age, they can be required to attend drug counseling and perform community service. People 18 years and over, but not yet 21, who unlawfully grow marijuana may be fined up to $100. Now, that's kind of a good thing. Because before, when it was these laws were not in effect, you would get arrested and taken to the county jail. You have to get lawyers and do a lot of things to get yourself cleared from that. So the penalties for that under California laws have been reduced, kind of give you a reasonable, something reasonable. And for adults, cultivating over six marijuana plants remains a crime. Most defendants who plant, cultivate, harvest, or drive or possess more than six living marijuana plants will be charged with a misdemeanor and face up to six months in a county jail and or a fine of $500. Cultivating more than six marijuana plants can be charged as a California felony. Now this is serious. However, for the following defendants, people with serious violent felonies on their record, people who are registered sex offenders, people who are more than uh, two prior convictions for cultivating more than six marijuana plants. The feds who violate certain California environmental laws and marijuana cultivation activities. That means if you are growing or cultivating and you are violating certain laws in California, you can run into serious problem under this law. Possession with the intent to sell. This applies to most people, and whether you are old enough or not. Proposition 64 legalizes the sale of marijuana, but only for businesses that obtain and operate in accordance with both state and local license. But you have to have a license to grow. Here in California, for example, uh, about a month ago, uh, Vista, there were uh, opening up new dispensaries. And in order to even apply, people who came to apply to see if they can get any one of the 11 open dispensary sites, had to show up with a cashier's check for, was it $100,000? $100,000. They also had to have an application fee. That was $9,500. So this is not a small change business. But they wanted to make sure that people who do want to cultivate are serious. So possession with the intent to, to sell. For most adult defendants, possession of sale without a license is a misdemeanor, carrying the following penalties. Up to six months in a county jail, or up to a fine of $500 if you cultivate without a license. But marijuana possession for sale without a license is a felony if any of the following is true. Now the others were a misdemeanor, but if you have a prior conviction for one of the list of particularly serious violent crimes, if it, which includes murder, sexually violent offenses, sex crimes against a, ch a child under 14, or gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, or a sex crime that requires you to register as a sex offender. You have two or more prior misdemeanor convictions of marijuana possession, or you possess marijuana for sale in connection with a knowing sale or attempt to sell to someone under 18. A lot of words. Probably. Confusing. But <clears throat> the whole